Hello and welcome back to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're looking at Topaz products, three AI products that I think are really great and maybe you should consider adding them to your arsenal of uh, software. Uh, and that would be Topaz Denoise AI, Topaz Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI. We're really going to look at Gigapixel AI in, in a lot of detail today because I want you to see how really cool this piece of software is. So let's get started. What you're seeing right here is a uh, image shot with an iPhone 7. And uh, I was out in the woods the other day and, you know, the best camera that you have is the one that you have with you, correct? And so I got some shots out in the woods. And... Um, I, I came upon this image and I thought it was kind of interesting and it leaves a little bit ragged here so I'm, it's not really a great image but I really want to show you how um, Gigapixel can really let us crop into this image because sometimes we'll get images where we think we have a nice crop on them but you know we might find when we look at an image like man there's an image inside of this image if I could just crop down but uh, most software doesn't handle uh, enlarging images that well but gigapixel ai does a super job and i really want to show you how great it is today so right here we have this image and the first thing i want to do is duplicate the background layer and that's commander control j first thing i want to do is run up into the first filter i talked about and that was topaz denoise ai and so we're just going to go ahead and denoise this i love denoise ai it's really good ai clear by the way in topaz studio 2 is awesome as well either one of those are great but topaz denoise ai is just a little bit nicer so all i'm going to do is uh right now it ran the auto uh noise on it let me and i'm zoomed into 400 percent let me just see here there's not a whole lot of noise in this picture but you can see it's sharpening it up a bit Denoise will also give you a little bit of sharpening too, but it's removed all the noise out of here. In fact, let me just take a little bit more noise out just for the heck of it. All right, so I want to make sure I have no noise here. I'm just going to click apply, give that a few uh, seconds here. It happens pretty quick. Again, this is an iPhone 7 image, so it's not a real big file to begin with. So I really wanted to put Gigapixel to its test today. So I wanted to use a really, uh, you know, smaller, smaller megapixel image all right so there's the first pass now let me duplicate the background layer commander control j let's go to filter let's go to topaz labs let's go to sharpen ai and this picture is relatively sharp i'm just going to add a little bit extra sharpening to it give it a few seconds here to pre-process and we're almost there we're here now, so let me zoom into, let's zoom into 200% here. And see what we got here. Now we have these three different modes here, sharpen, stabilize, and focus. These two modes are great. If you, if you had some movement in your image, stabilize will really fix that up for you. And focus, if your image is slightly soft, it'll pull it back into focus. This image is just fine. I just want to add a little bit of extra sharpness to the image here. So I'm just going to bump that up just a little bit. And here's the before and here's the after. Not much happening there, but I always like to make sure my images are relatively sharp. Click apply and that'll bring us right back into Photoshop. By the way, there's a new Photoshop update out. It's Photoshop 2020. It's really awesome. There's some cool features. On some future episodes, I'm going to delve into the... Uh, the new Photoshop update, and it is really amazing. They've added some really nice new features to it. All right, so here we are. So the next step is I want to crop this image. All right, so let's go up here and grab the crop tool in Photoshop here. Uh, I'm in a, uh, right now I'm in a, I think I'm in a four by five aspect ratio. If not, I'm going to click four by five. And right now it says four by five. And see this, these little, this little icon with the arrows here? Just click that and that'll make it go into the landscape mode. So I want to really crop in on this image, you know, because what if I said, you know what, this image right here, uh, let's take a look at the whole image so you can see it. And we'll say, you know what, the real image is like right in this section here. So let me crop way into that guy. And see if we can pull out an image out of this thing. Pull out a decent crop. 
because I really like this leaf, leaf and the moss here and some of these dead leaves here and even some of this uh, little bit of the bark from the old dead tree here. But let's just throw that in the corner there a little bit. Maybe a crop. Something like that. Let's pour it in tighter. Let's make Gigapixel really go to work for us and see what it can do. Let me just pull down here a little bit. Uh, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and check off delete crop pixels because I'm going to say I'm committed to this crop. And then you can come here and click this check um, right here and that commits the crop. All right. So now my image is down to a eight by around eight by six. So it's relatively smaller. Uh, I think it started out as a let's see here. Let's go back to the original. I'm going into history here. So it was around a 10 by you know, 10 by 13, somewhere around there. And now it is down to a 8 by roughly a little bit over 6 inches. So we've made this image a lot smaller. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this out as a TIFF file. So I'm just going to come up to Photoshop here, click on File, uh, Save As. Uh, this is some of the new interface here inside of Photoshop. This is really cool. You can save uh, documents to the, to the uh, Adobe Cloud or right on your computer. I'm just going to save this on my computer here. And let's see, it's going to be a TIFF. I don't want layers on, so I'm going to hit click on Save. And um, let's go ahead and click OK here. No compression. Saving it to the desktop, I believe. And let me go over to the desktop. Yep, there it is right there. It's on the desktop. Next step, Topaz Gigapixel AI. Well, let's go ahead and launch Gigapixel AI. Come down to my dock here and click on Gigapixel AI. We open up Gigapixel AI. It opens up really quick. Click on open here and find my image, which here it is right here. My iPhone 7 image cropped in. Click open and... Give it a couple seconds here to render. On the left-hand side of the screen here in the bottom here, you'll see the original 100% uh, cropped image. And here is the uh, Gigapixel uh, resizing right here. So you can compare the two here. You can also zoom in uh, into 200 or 400% if you want to. I'm going to just leave it at 100% right now. Uh, right here we can see the original size of the image. It's a 2369 by an 1894 in pro photo uh, color space right now I have it set to six times you can do uh, 0.5 times two times four or six six as high as you can go uh, and you'll notice here at six times it will upsize to 14 214 by 11 364 which will be bigger than the original uh, image out of the iPhone 7 camera all right I have it set to auto and I find that works really well so I'm just gonna leave it at auto and I think things are looking nice here so I'm not gonna worry about it Oh, by the way, you can zoom around here if you wanted to. It has to reprocess every time you move it, but it's looking good. And so I'm happy with that. And this result should turn out nicely. So it's in the auto mode. Oh, this is important too. See where it says face refinement. If you don't have any faces on your image, make sure you have this shut off because it could mess up your uh, enlargement. All right. And then you can pick the folder you want it to go to. I have mine set to the uh, desktop. And you can see right here. Here's the path. Okay. Desktop. All right, and then just click on start right here. Oh, and file format, you can uh, convert to a file format. Like, yes, you can make it go to JPEG or whatever you want. In this case, no, I'm going to leave it in TIFF. And, and also, you have some different options here. JPEG, TIFF, or PNG. All right, so I'm just going to click no for now. Come down here and click on start. And I'm going to let this run real time so you can see exactly how long it takes. Now, I have a iMac 2019 model, uh, a, a relatively fast processor. It's an i9 8-core processor. Um, I got a 40, uh, I'm sorry, I got an 8 gigabyte graphics card inside of here. So it, it works pretty fast. Um, but it takes a little bit of time. Now, if you're if your uh, starting out image is smaller, it'll it'll render out quicker. This image is not super small, but it's relatively small, so it takes a little bit of time. So, 
As we're waiting here, just uh, I wanted to mention a little bit more about the new Photoshop 2020 update. I highly recommend if you're on the Creative Cloud to go ahead and download that update. It's amazing. They've added a lot of really new features, probably the best update of Photoshop that I've ever seen. New selection tools in there, um, new Zoom features, which are really amazing. I'll, I'll have, have some training videos on that, and you'll see all the all the all some of the new features that are in there uh, for photographers and also um what else was in there it was really nice oh they they did some work on the uh content aware field tool really got that nice they have auto selection tools which are nice and man they just really did so many great upgrades to uh photoshop so photoshop 2020 it's a really great update. I highly recommend that you download load that if you have the Creative Cloud. If you don't have the Creative Cloud, you might want to consider getting it. It's a really good update, and I highly recommend it. So we're almost done here. We're at 95%, waiting a couple more seconds here, and it is now complete. All right, and you'll get a little check here saying that it's complete. And right here where it says output, this is nice. If you click on this blue blue area right here where the path is, give that a click. That'll open up your preview so you can actually see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, maximize the screen size. So, man, it did a really good job, and I really cropped into it. So next I'll uh, take this into Photoshop, and we'll compare the two images so you can actually see the results. All right, so stay tuned for that. Well, here we are back in Photoshop. The image on the left is the gigapixel enlargement. The image on the right is the iPhone 7 cropped image. Uh, they're both at 300 dpi. And uh, the uh, size of this uh, iPhone 7 image is roughly 8 by a little over 6.5. And, and look at the size of the gigapixel. It is like almost 47 by 37. Isn't that crazy? So you can imagine... This little iPhone image cropped in, mind you. That's pretty amazing. It's cropped in. I could get a humongous print out of that thing, and it would be gorgeous. Now, this is not a great image by any stretch of the imagination. If I wanted to really make this into a fine art image, I'd have some work to go on it. Okay, but this is right out of the camera, basically. But the one on the right, you know, I couldn't get that big of a print out of this guy here. So, pretty amazing what Gigapixel will do. Well, I'm not affiliated with Topaz in any way. I just love Gigapixel. I have not found anything that even comes close to it. As you look at these two images side by side, they look identical, don't they? But this guy is almost 47 by 37, where this one is about 8 by 6.5, roughly. They look identical. Gigapixel did a really great job. Uh, I highly recommend that you at least download a trial of it and try it for yourself and see what you think. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you've tried Gigapixel and if, if you had good success with it, let me know. Or if you don't like it, let me know that too. I'd really love to hear from you. Well, there's my three favorite Topaz AI products. Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI. Took a small iPhone 7 file, cropped way into it, put Gigapixel really to the test. And it came out as a, not as a Goliath, it came out as a David attacking a Goliath. So it's pretty amazing uh, software. You have to admit that, right? Uh, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed each time I put out a new training video. Uh, and remember, this image ended up as a 47 by roughly almost 38 inch image out of an iPhone image that iPhone 7 image that was cropped way in. So pretty amazing stuff. Well, thanks for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see each and every one of you right here next time.